Think scuba scuba crazy. I've been gone for like a month. I don't know why I'd be doing that, honestly. Like, there's been times where I could have been like reacting, making videos and stuff like that. But I honestly don't be feeling like it. Um, just to sum it all up, I don't want to like force it because my reactions already to me personally don't be the best that I know that they can be. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know they probably straight, but like, I've been trying to learn how to show, I guess, character in the videos. Because I've been doing like a lot of quantity over quality thing. But then too, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm getting subs. But are the people actually fucking with me? You know what I'm saying? Because I just watch the video. I sit there. Just be like, oh, that's cool. Whatever. But like, kind of want to like get more to the character just to, I don't know. Just say so y'all know who y'all fucking with, I guess. Or just so y'all fuck with me. You know, and not necessarily just, oh, subscribing because I'm asking y'all to. But y'all know I love reacting to uh, Prim Hood Cinema for sure and the movie In Too Deep, which this was a great movie. Didn't he do this before? I think he did this before, low key. Cause didn't he do like a two in one? I don't know, but we finna re uh, we finna watch it, react to it, or whatever the case is. So. <laughs> it starts off with Omar Epps driving down the street with a bunch of his gangster friends. We Bay from the Wire is here. All these other randoms. This nigga We Bay is always <laughs> playing somebody's henchman. Every movie he's in, he do got a henchman face though, Loki, <laughs> right? And he's usually a good henchman. He's it's, good to have. It's always like that one actor that's just like, no matter what movie they in, they always either like janky or they always do the same thing. What's that one dude from the? Uh, from the Medea movie. It's just like, every movie he in or show, you can't trust him. I know Michael Ely is somebody like that, the light-skinned dude from Barbershop. Like, they was like, every movie he in, you can't be trusted. Uh, Low-key, if y'all seen Bel Air, that's kind of how he act in that show. Like, he'd be like, like I don't know. Y'all just know what I'm talking about. Well, your team, bro. He's like, bah, 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 bah. How come God make a man strip before he beat him down? Take a man's dignity away and strip him down naked and humiliate him. He'll never forget that. You know what I'm saying? That's some psychological ill shit. You know what I mean? They bought the slide on some ops together, and it's a really fun time. That's when it cuts over to Omar Epps giving a lecture at the police academy. Turns out the whole time he's an undercover oh, no. cop and... No, I got it confused with um when he did Juice and uh, Get Rich or Die Trying together. I thought he did In Too Deep or something. And he got this stupid ass wig oh on. These seven up ass dreads, vegan dreads, Kyle Barker dreads. He's teaching all the cops how to handle themselves while undercover and he's explaining how tough the job is. All right, now check it out, Crimson Baby. Main man gonna hand you the honor of blasting this punk. Now he's skimming off the top. We can't have that. I mean, it's, it's a man's beef, not mine. It's not the way the game is played. And your stupid ass is dead. Yeah, no. Why are you even here, sir? <laughs> There's no way you making it as an undercover cop out here. Especially this nigga said I refuse warm, to slide man. on the ops. Can you, you believe damn it? Gotta it's shoot real, me. Crimson baby. Don't worry about it, man. We're gonna roll by his place of employment, uh, sort of incognito. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's what this movie was because I know he was like from Akron, you know, that's how they was playing it, and they from Cincinnati. I don't know why I always thought it was from Akron. You want me to jump out of this man and kill somebody? You don't shit me doing. Man, I hate that word cats, bro. Why are you calling niggas like cats? That's so lame. Who came up with that, old niggas? It's like a house cat? What does that mean? Don't call me no damn cat, you idiot. Anyway, they pull up on those aforementioned cats and Omar Epps starts busting wildly. He misses all the shots on purpose, but he gives a good He's enough performance crazy. and the gang still believes in him. After that pretty solid intro, we flash back to two years earlier and Omar Epps is just graduating from police school. He asks Stanley Tunchi to put him on some undercover gigs for whatever reason. Who would want to do that? This nigga loves snitching. I guess most cops he, probably love yeah, snitching. Cop. It's fine. What makes you think you'd be so good at undercover work? Well, my mother says I'm damn good at making anyone believe anything. You know? Oh, your mother. Good players out here, man. They're going to believe anything. 
He gets the first assignment and he pretty trash at first. He gotta dress up like a junkie and get Nas to serve him. Nas is here for a cameo, by the way. Also, Pam Greer's in the movie. Barely. She barely <laughs> in it. She's an all star. Got some shit? I don't know, man. Take that shit down the block or something. Fuck, nigga. What's up? Fuck you, nigga. You don't know me. Chill out. Chill. Chill. Omar Epps stands his ground and they end up serving him like some dumbasses. You should have went with your first instinct, bro. Now look at you. I knew he was a fucking cop. All the cops are impressed and Omar Epps starts getting more. His, and his more like style of, I don't know if it's comedy or like, I don't know. His style of editing for show, I, I know, you know, I can say that. It's just so hilarious. It's just like spot on. It, it's different. It's, it's perfect, bro. Missions now. We then cut over to the it main villain of the movie. Kind of His name is God, and he's one of the top drug dealers in Cincinnati. He's played by black all-star LL Cool J. Ladies love Cool James. That's what it stands for, by the way. This nigga cool name James. is Ladies Love Cool James. What the fuck is that? Your first name is Ladies? All right, bro. They bust into some guy's house and beat him up cool or James. something because he owed name. them some cool money. James. Drug dealing read. movie. What's up with this, man? Fuck I'll probably listen to the LL Cool J Love You Better song like every day. Just, just throw that out there. I'll probably listen to that every day, literally. What's up? I'm saying, man. I hear you real good with At least time. four times a week. Real good. I got nothing but love for y'all. In those four times, I repeat the song like for a couple of minutes. What's up, girlfriend? Omar Epps is getting better at the undercover snitching or something. He's snitching on all these Hispanic niggas now, and it's going pretty great so far. Go, college girl, go! to have a drink with us. Long as it didn't tell go for a wire. Move in. No, mom, it ain't nobody. <laughs> Look at that. Omar Epps gets Cuban B and his whole family locked up. Now he's feeling kind of bad about it. His other cop homies love this shit though, and now they're sending him after the biggest dealer in the whole city. Ladies love Cool James. You're going after God. Omar Epps ends up connecting with that blonde hair henchman from earlier. They don't show how really. They just kind of know each other already. Yeah, it feels hella yeah, rushed. Honestly, I feel like this nigga created. don't even belong in a gang, right? You seem more like a Frank Ocean type nigga. Rocket power type nigga, rollerblading and shit everywhere. You old Arnez from one on one hit ass nigga. It's bad casting, is what I'm trying to say. That's hey, Reed. Got me out in the cold, man. What's up? Breezy T. Got the bad knack on the sign. Hold a bag, T. All right, got you. If you let this bag go one more time, I'm gonna break your jaw. Fuck you, man. The blonde dude introduces all my ups to Cool James. He gotta pass these tryouts first though, before they can do business. They have this super manly, bald head boxing practice or whatever. Cool James like how all my apps don't back down and bald head. Now they agree to serve him like some dumbasses. He ain't saying anything. You know a little bit more about boxing than you let on. Jay Reed from Akron. Later, they all go to Cool James Thanksgiving Festival in the hood. He's giving out money and turkeys and all that. All right, this nigga definitely a fake ass Nino Brown man from New Jack City. I was trying not to take it there, but that's what it is, low key. This time it's a light skinned criminal though, and a dark skinned cop. This is a reverse New Jack City. Yo, what's your name, nigga? Jay Reed. Smart mouth here's paying my wife. That's my man. Right? Grew up together in Newark. You know what I mean? It's a death. Oh, that's what it was. Now we're back at the from drive Jersey, by scene from the beginning. Omar Epps like... misses all his shots like we saw before. The gang still likes him, though, and they ask Cool James if he can join the team. Cool James says yes, but he sticks him with a bunch of rejects, sticky fingers, and this other weird-ass nigga. The sticky fingers well, always oh, cool oh, oh, huh? What's up, girl? Come here, man. Oh! Yo, fucking listen, man. <laughs> 
Message. Sticky Fingers ends up trying to rob Omar Epps. Omar Epps fights back though, and we get another pretty suspenseful action scene. This movie underrated though. So, the movie itself is actually nice. Good. A lot of the movies that he um do his review on are actually good, but it's just funny to like that he points out the bad and all that stuff. But overall, they be good movies. But a lot of the times he say all the stuff that we be thinking, and it's cool that somebody's finally making videos about. The nigga movies, you feel me? Because nobody ever do it. He most, you know, YouTube is oversaturated with white people. Gotta prove ourselves first. That's just what we're gonna do. Prove ourselves. Where the money at, man? Fuck that. I'll do this oh, shit. shit. Omar Epps goes to Stanley Tunchi and tells him about the robbery. They get into an argument and Tunchi takes him off the case. They put him up in this dirty ass cabin for witness protection or something. It's not all bad though. He winds up dating everybody's favorite mandatory hood movie girlfriend, <laughs> Nia Long. Lucky. Every hood movie, you gotta date Nia Long at some point. That's the rule. I don't remember that part. He Nigga, it's only been hurt. three months. Is that long enough for his hair to grow like this? You went from completely bald to these little ass memory foam dreads. I hate this wig, bro. This is the worst part of the movie. Stop putting this shit on your head. <laughs> you this episode of Crimson Cinema is sponsored by Express. For sponsoring. Now, let's get on with the video. So skipping oh, past all the, the boring girl. romance, so stuff, Omar Epps ends up getting his job back and he cuts off these newborn baby dreads. Then he goes back to the city to reunite with Cool James. Why do you he love with Jay team. Reed so much? Get off his nuts, bro. He ain't even do anything. He had one failed drive-by attempt, then he got robbed and disappeared for three months. Like, what is that? You shouldn't even want him on your team. This friendship feels hella rushed, too. They could have used a few extra minutes on the friendship. Anyway, I, I do feel like that, too, because it kind of, like, he did the boxing thing, and then he was like, oh, they homies, you feel me? Because I guess bro couldn't hold the bag, but it's just the fact that he was, like, he wasn't scared to do it or whatever. Later that, that night, Omar Epps goes kidding. to some party, and he's looking for his gang. He runs into Jermaine Dupree, of all people, and he a terrible actor. What is happening? Check the shit out you I got in my pocket. All new gold, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, bye, bye. Chief one real quick, you know? Man, what up? Let's go. Come on, dog. Jay, Jay. Yeah, what up? Jay over there? Yeah, that's Jay. Light it up. Can't get no wind. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> I always feel like that part was good. <laughs> Man, what Light the? Can't get no win. Got it? Remember that shit I was talking about in my pocket? It's your shit, bitch. Oh, 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 Jermaine Dupree ends up sneaking Omar Epps and he want to take his chain. Okay, this little nigga out here is solo, trying to rob this very well-connected man. Do you want this chain that bad? This weak-ass Minecraft chain. All his homeboys in there, you ain't even being careful. They saw your ass leaving. You should have planned this out more. Anyway, everybody loved Jay Reed for some reason. He getting more respect from the gang. He legit didn't do anything. This nigga is not putting any work. <laughs> he got robbed twice. He's trash, bro. Get rid of him. What are you thinking about? God wanna see you, man. Yeah, man I'll come by tomorrow, or something. Nah, you wanna see you today. Come on, man. Get <laughs> the fuck up, bitch. So Cool James calls everybody in for a meeting. He beats up his own henchman with the braids right cool here. Shit. Apparently Braids Yo has been trying to holler at Cool James, ladies. That's not cool. You can catch small hints of him trying to holler throughout the movie. This Thanksgiving scene in particular, I didn't even notice it the first time. Oh, That's I never knew that was him that, that that happened to when I watched the movie. Cause I watched it once. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna watch it like how I be watching the other movies he done review. But I never noticed that that was him. Who was getting that treatment? Good attention to detail. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And that's fire eyes. I guess you see my man here bleeding all fucked up. Damn, God, one foul nigga, right? All I did was tell her that you was shot, nigga. Give me a post. Keep going, man. What? You're wilding out, man. Why I'm wilding out? You supposed to be my man? I am your man. And I'm gonna prove it, motherfucker. I'm sorry, man. I, th I think he did review Cool James takes this pool stick and shoves it in I remember too watching. deep. Let's say that. Omar Epps is sitting here uncomfortable as fuck. Yeah, Me too, bro. What kind of sus ass <laughs> torture? <laughs> Me and him making the same thing. Love it. Love it. Love it. But Cole James is getting more and more ruthless. Omar Epps is starting to forget he's a cop too and the line is blurred and he's in too deep, etc. And now that Brazio is out of the way, Omar Epps becomes the new second in command. That means he finally gets to meet with Cole James's plug and set up the final big sting operation. Are you a cop? What the fuck do you mean is he a cop? Motherfucker, don't insult me. All right, all right, all right. All right, so if anybody watch this uh, reaction this far in, now, why why do you have to say you a cop if somebody asks you, are you a cop? You know, I don't know. I'm not a cop and never been, you know, since so I don't know the rules on that. Because, like, I know a thing, too, with, like, um, they're like prostitutes and stuff where, you know, if they be like, oh, are you a cop? You got to say, yes, you are. But, like, why is that? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. The, like, the rules with that or if you're doing like a drug deal illegal drug deal it's like oh are you a cop like why do you have to say you're a cop because why can't you just be like no you know what i'm saying like of course if they ask me that it's guns to my face why would i say yes i, I just don't know if you know, somebody can tell me that in the comments please Put let the me know gun down. i mean i, I could look at that but i like the right he low-key forgets he's a cop in the moment, and he almost starts dumping. Again, it's a pretty good performance from all my apps. It's a shallow-ass character now that I'm thinking about it, but it's a good performance for sure. Hello, Cool J2. They some all-stars. Yeah, they both did good. It's all a misunderstanding. <laughs> Would you do the honors? Read Mr. Gittins' rights? They some, they some hoes. I always feel like they were some hoes for making him do it. He could have just walked off and... Went back to Akron type shit, you feel me? But they just wanted to, I don't know. I'm gonna play in the tape. I feel like anybody could have did that. So. He loved to hear his own voice. You ain't no cop. <laughs> you ain't no cop, Jay Reed. <laughs> you a sellout. Omar Epps saves the day and Cole James goes to jail for a long time. He rides off into the sunset with Nia Long and he grows them stupid dreads back again. <laughs> you shouldn't have did that, bro. You ruined the movie now. I was having a good time. This is a very underrated hood crime movie. It doesn't quite live up to its full potential, but it's definitely entertaining the whole way through, it's except for Nia Long parts. LL Cool J does a good job as the bad guy. He a good bad guy. It was very menacing. I never thought LL Cool J could be yeah, scary. Be better. I see why ladies. I'm telling you, her. I watched this. Cool J. I, I listened to this song like so much. Probably gonna do a reaction to to the video. Uh, yeah, I know I be doing um, like a thing on my channel called reacting to my childhood. I might react to that. Uh, one Underrated day. hood crime movie. I might do it. It right doesn't quite live up to its full potential. But it's definitely entertaining the whole way through, except the Neil Long parts. LL Cool J does a good job as the bad guy. Why is that funny? He's a good bad guy. It was very menacing. I never thought LL Cool J could be scary at all. I see why ladies love him. Cold James. They could have used a little bit more action. I'm surprised they didn't have a rival gang or anything like that pop up. That could have been interesting. Also, they barely used Pam Greer. I don't even know why the hell she's here. I didn't Omar's. know that was her. I think Omar Epps does a good job again. You can really well, he feel when like he's it. in too deep. Pause. I think he sold the Jay Reed persona really well. They claim this is based on a true story, but I couldn't find what the hell they were talking about. It's probably Cap. Please let me know in the comments if you know. That's it, though. I'm done now. Shout out to all the Patreon homies. I love you. Be sure to follow me on Twitch for some quality homie time. Tune into my podcast, the BBC Club podcast. Catch me on No Jumper News. Okay, and that's okay. it, I think. Thanks for watching me. I love you, no pause. All right, water.
Well, y'all go follow all his stuff he told y'all. This is my reaction channel. I got a main channel. I also have a podcast channel. And one day, I'm going to get him on here on the podcast. And we're going to chop it up. He said he'd do it uh, with me. So just be looking out for that in the future. I don't know when I'm going to do it yet. I'm just trying to make sure everything right before I do it because I don't want it to be a bust. So I'm still learning how to talk to the camera and all this type of stuff. But... It's my reacting channel. Like I said, I got a main channel, vlog channel, Afraid of Heights podcast, FGC channel, Mortal Kombat 1 coming out. You feel me? So y'all into that and y'all in the FGC, let's play the game. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all that. We out.